Justin Watson had a chance to catch it on fourth and 25, I fell for him. I mean, shit, I dropped the ball on fourth down in the playoffs. And I was known for catching the ball, I didn't drop many. And that was partly my fault because I was mentally checked out of the game. I was mad that they weren't getting me the ball. And then when they finally get it to me, right through my hands. That game, bro, we were winning 28 to seven at halftime. We come out, Ray Rice fumbles, uh, Antonio Brown catches the ball on third and 28 or some shit like that. But yeah, I, I remember that game, bits and pieces of it. I wasn't uh, getting a lot of opportunities and I was pissed off about that and I said something about it and then I got an opportunity and I didn't come up with it. And I was, no, I had never in my life dropped the ball in a game when it mattered ever. Like I've caught so many balls on fourth down with the game on the line. Early in that year against the Steelers, I caught a touchdown to win the game at the end of the game. And so, I mean, shit happens, but you gotta be able to let it go. But when it continues to happen, it's hard because now it's in your mind. And, and if you're not strong mentally, when you uh, consistently are dropping the ball, that weighs on you as a player. That weighs on you as a player because now you go to practice, you're overthinking catching the ball. Uh, you drop another one in the game mentally. Everybody's gonna come up to you, good, you good, you good, don't worry. The reason they're coming up to you because they know you've been dropping the ball all the time. They would never come up to you, you good, you good, you good, any other time, but everybody's gonna come up to you because you're known to be dropping the ball this, this season. And now that's gonna get you to thinking even more, man, why they keep coming up to me? Because you can't catch, it's tough. And I wasn't on social media when I was playing. And I could imagine the messages that these dudes are getting on social media. Because if it was me, I'm responding back to them. They F me, well F you too. You suck, your mama suck. You know, like, and so they're getting all kind of messages via social media because it's a lot of cruel people in this world that you're not good enough to do what these guys are doing on television, but you're going to sit up here and bash them. They're not trying to drop the ball. They're trying to make the play. Just didn't come up with it. I mean, it happens. And so it's going to be a problem, but it's not going away. These are the same guys that you're going to have the rest of the season. Either these dudes are going to have to be so mentally strong to where they can't let that affect them, or it's going to derail the Chiefs' season. I mean, that, those are the only options because there's no reinforcements coming in. Either these dudes got to be mentally strong to let that go, or the Chiefs' season will be in jeopardy. They'll still make the playoffs. They'll still do well because Mahomes is that good of a player and that defense is that good. But Super Bowl, nah, you can stick a fork in that.